Okay, we are joined by the NM State Aggies. Uh, Coach Track, if you can give us your thoughts on the game. I thought uh, the kids came out ready to play. I thought our defense was great for three, three quarters, and then uh, I think we had some lapses in the fourth quarter, turned the ball over, but it's kind of hard, you know, I think, you know, we had the game in hand uh, when that happened, but I thought we were focused. We played defense. We boarded. Uh, we did a better job on Loggins than we had all year. I think Brianna Freeman and, and uh, Tyler Ellis really did a good job uh, defensively. I think our guards did a good job on their guards. Uh, our kids were motivated today. Uh, I think they talk, took the loss to Texas Rio Grande Valley uh, very personally, you know, kind of hurt on senior night. And uh, they're here trying to redeem themselves from that loss, and it was a good first step. And, you know, we're looking forward to playing the winner of this game, who's going to be very good. And, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll open up for questions and we have a wireless mic over here. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Sasha needed overtime last year to win your guys' uh, first WAC tournament game. Huh? Uh, came ready to play tonight in this mm -hmm. one. How much was that a focus, you know, being ready from the start in this game? Um, I think just definitely coming off of senior night, um, we had that, that early uh, deficit and uh, I guess digging ourselves a hole is something we're kind of trying not, uh, to stray away from, just uh, to get away from overtime games like Seattle last year, uh, make it a little easier on ourselves just because um, it's back-to-back -back games. So we want to let ourselves get a little bit of rest and uh, finish teams early, earlier than we have been doing. Uh, Mariah, their point guard Seals was their leading scorer coming into today, and you guys held her, I want to say, without a field goal to the late in the fourth quarter. Was it kind of a focus to, to stop her? I know Loggins had had good games mm -hmm. against you guys, too, and, you know, what you guys going to do defensively on her to stop, shut her down? Um, well, we didn't just, so, yeah, we focused on her as well, but we really focused on Loggins, but um, we just tried to stick to the scout and what the scout said, and I think we did a pretty good job of doing that. Uh, Mark, yeah, can you talk about that a little bit? You know, Seals, uh, I think she was average, she was leading her score, averaging like 16 points a game. You guys held her without a field goal to late in the fourth quarter. Uh, what do you feel like was kind of the key against her, and was that kind of uh, something in the scouting report? Uh, yeah, we had to stop her. We had to stop Blanks. Blanks had great, great games against us, and we had to stop the big kid. Uh, I think our guards can defend, <clears throat> but I, what, the, the difference is the game is our bigs defended, you know. Uh, and that was big because then our guards don't really have to double a lot and they can stay locked up on our mans. I mean, Mariah, uh, Mariah, Shanice, Tamara, you know, they can defend people. So can Brooke. And, and if they don't have to double, if they don't have to leave their men, that, you know, they, they can lock people up. So but I think the key was that we could play Loggins one-on-one -on -one without giving a lot of help. Now, she did go five and nine, but we limited her to nine shots. And I think it was the, the best uh, – uh, it was the best Brianna and uh, Tyler played defensively. And, you know, we got a thir third-headed monster sitting there, and Taisha Taylor, too, if we need that tomorrow. Hopefully, Tyler Ellis will be okay. She got a pretty good knot on her head, but uh, uh, she's a pretty tough kid, so hopefully she'll be back tomorrow. Um, to Sasha and Mariah, what are your, the ladies' main motivation um, right now in the tournament? I know getting to um, the big tournament is one motivating factor, but what's like the motivation like right now in the locker room for you ladies? Um, I honestly think just building our legacy, uh, coming from 0-5 to WAC champions last year, and then doing it uh, almost undefeated season or conference uh, again this year. Uh, we have uh, specific goals we want to reach, and um, we're just one game away from uh, achieving another one. So, especially as a senior, it's my last time to do it, and uh, we want to go dance. Uh, there's a correction on this box score too. I think we're 25 and four, not 24 and four. <laughs> so. 25. Yeah, 25, yeah. Oh, we need everyone we can get. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're not easy to get. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, Mark, Shanice Davis has played really well all around. Uh, I think she had seven rebounds uh, today. She had eight uh, in your last game. Obviously, that's really nice. You can get your point guard helping on the boards like that. How much has she just helped just as an all-around player and a leader for your team as well? Uh, she's, she's been a big difference at point guard for us. You know, we, you know, I, I struggled my first three years to find a mature, stable point guard that can run the show. And you know, she's a great student. She's she works her butt off. She's coachable with me. I mean, she listens to, to everything I have to tell her. You know, and and uh, it's got to be an extension of a coach on the floor when you play point guard. And you know, she she does a heck of a job. I mean, we're very we signed her late. You know, it was one of those lucky signs where you sign somebody late and all of a sudden they work out. She was first team all conference last year, you know. Uh, so I, I, I'm very proud of Shanice and, and I'm very proud of, of her focus and her intensity in, in uh, today's game. Uh, Coach Track, with the, you know, a slower start in the first half, how um, key was Sasha's performance as being a senior leader um, getting you ladies going? No, that was key. I mean, she got us going. She had some big threes. She opened up their defense. She softened them a bit. Um, so I think it'll be big. It'll be big moving forward into tonight's game and knowing that she's back on her game. And we really, really need that right now. I think she's got a lot of confidence, and I think she's motivated. And uh, I think she's uh, she's ready to go. You know, we're in a championship game. She's, she's yeah, you want to play tomorrow? Yeah, it's okay. nice time. There you go. I, I, I think we're ready, yeah. All right, one last question. Uh, Sasha or Mariah, you guys have had a uh, balance offensively all year long. You, uh, you guys had three with 12 at the end of the third quarter. How much has that just helped you guys off offensively? And again, today, you know, just uh, teams can't really guard, you know, just one or yeah. two people. I think that's a big thing. You know, if one of us is off, there's always going to be somebody else that's on. And we have so many weapons on this team. So it's hard to scout us. And so ha having a lot of people that can score is definitely a big advantage. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess pretty much whoever like they choose to focus on, it's going to open somebody else's shot up. And that's really difficult to guard. Um, Coach Track always talks about like hope hope they miss defense and basically that means they just have to hope that we miss. Um, we have a lot of threats coming from the outside and then we have inside game too. So um, no matter what, even I've had a, a couple slower games and um, just knowing that my team's going to be able to step up, I could go scoreless and we could still win. And I think that speaks a lot to how great this team is. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Don't want to go score.